question. Okay. So recording. Yep, I'm recording. Okay. So, um, what if I do the observer uh, and I go off into the infinite? Would all uh, would all my karmas be burnt? And that would be the end of it, kind of thing. So, and my belief systems and karma would be burnt off. Well, you know, a few things. One of them is, um, so Ramana Maharishi. I, I, my, my guess with the Ramana, anyway, Ramana was just, uh, as I understand, living his life. He's quite a normal guy. Is Ramana there? Yes, he is. Ramana's there. And, uh, and then suddenly he had the experience of dying and he thought he would observe it. And he went off into enlightenment. Okay, in, in this lifetime, that was all that was seen. Even though I suspect that he'd done a, uh, in previous lifetimes, if you'd seen, he'd probably done a lot of spiritual work and earned the karmic merit to just suddenly have um, the experience of the dying of the ego and to have the awareness just to observe it and watch it and then become, you know, and then it was enlightened, which most people don't do. So, uh, on a certain level, it looks like, but I, I do believe he had earned that enough spiritual maturity in previous lifetimes to be able to, on, on the death of the ego, to observe it and then go off into the enlightened state. Um, now, um, so the observer, the observer, if you go into the observer, my intuition is it burns off a huge amount of karma, but Hawkins actually said, like, in previous lifetimes he was a Buddhist and he was actually incarnated here to resolve the lesson of allness, uh, allness or nothingness, which is um, the, so in Buddhism, uh, the absolute is nothingness, whereas, which, uh, which isn't the highest level of enlightenment. The highest level of enlightenment is the, uh, the allness of love. Uh, so it's not like infinite peace with nothingness. There's the stunning presence of love at, at infinity. So that's the highest level of enlightenment. So as a Buddhist, the false idea he had is that once you let go of all attachments, and that's where he went. So uh, he didn't say at, at the end of the last life to what calibration he was, but I suspect he might have been above six. He might have been above enlightenment. But he was still spat back into this world and incarnated to resolve the um, to resolve the nothing, the absolute, the absolute being absolute infinite peace and nothingness, or absolute infiniteness with infinite love as well, the stunning presence of love, and so he resolved that, you know, more or less got to the absolute absolute state. You know, you know, along the similar lines of uh, Buddha and uh, Jesus Christ and Krishna through uh, muscle calibration. So the interesting thing, like if you go off into the observer, um, have you burnt off all your belief systems? Well, I would say, I mean, again, you'd have to look at the individual and how much karma they've got there and how much they've burnt off and how much they haven't. I think it's quite, you know, again, these would be under, uh, in, in absolute truth, there is no karma, and there is no world, mm. and there is no belief systems. But within, you know, in mm. terms of when you reach the absolute and you're not re-identified back with belief systems, so you just go off and just have a temporary glimpse, and then you're back in the body suffering this or that or the other, I would say is actually... It's, it's spiritually earned. So um, there can be a, a time where it's like you've done enough spiritual work and you go off into the observer and everything is burnt off and there is no return ever. Or it could be um, there are certain things there which mean there's, you know, that you haven't got enough karmic eligibility so that you burn off a lot of stuff but certain belief systems will still be there and, and will re-hook you back into, into, um, into duality to resolve those until they are. You know, it just depends what type of karma. And possibly the karma 
uh, Hawkins, like Hawkins said, there's certain types of things. There's certain types of things where you, you're not eligible for divine forgiveness. You can't just sort of sort of go off like uh, uh, pray for a miracle and just push everything's gone. That divine mercy, divine, and that one of them he said, it was quite chilling really when I heard it. He was asked this question by the audience, which was, um, what about blasphemy? I still don't like talking about it because when I heard it, I had chills. It was like, you know, because you know, if you're identified and you've been like going around axe murdering <laughs> and being Adolf Hitler in the past lifetime, you know, just please forgive me, God, and Bush, everything's gone. But what about something like blasphemy? You know, if you check that out with muscle testing, um, can can you just be forgiven for that? You know, and the answer was no. You have to undo it. So you have to go through, you have to go through, it's like you could be praying, you could be praying and trying to do the observer like a lunatic and reading the Course of Miracles and yet you're still going through some, some you, you just have to un, un, undo the, um, the thing that you're not going to get divine mercy for. So you're going to have to experience it out, possibly um, uh, be in hell, <laughs> be in hell while you sort of pray and try and do the observer, and it's not working until that that's burnt off, and then you're eligible for divine mercy and for flipping into enlightenment. And things being burnt off. So, so for one individual that has been blaspheming, and the another one that's doing the observer, and, um, and this is just examples, will, and might get everything burnt off, and they go, to, I'm just going to do the observer, and all the belief systems are. Another one might try and do the observer and pray, pray for forgiveness, and it's like they just can't get out of it. You know, they're just going to have to go through some stuff. So, mm. Mm, and even in sharing Hawkins' lifetime, you know, even I suspect I have, uh, I can't calibrate myself. I don't ask someone who can calibrate. I suspect in previous lifetime he was at a very advanced level and left the mm. body as a Buddhist, mm. even no ego, but he still was spat back and re-identified with the body to resolve the last level, you see. So, um, at mm. a certain point, <coughs> I, I think once, because um, this is, a, <coughs> as Hawkins says, it's a purgatorial world, we're here to undo uh, the separation. Through, tran through transcendence. <clears throat> and the only reason we've only cartonated here and we have a body and everything is because we we had enough identification, otherwise we wouldn't have come here, in the <laughs> you wouldn't be here in the first place, unless there was already a lot of identification going on. So that's why we're, we're here in, in this world to resolve that. But um, I suspect once you've done, because it's a world of karma, karma mm. doesn't exist in the non-dual realm, but if mm. you're here and you're identified, mm. you've definitely got karma. You know, you can't just say it's not real because you're still in your body and you're still suffering. People, when they step on your toes, they'll be excruciating pain. So, yeah, it's intellectual at that point of view. So, at a certain point, if you've done enough spiritual work, I suspect whatever you do will suddenly burn everything off. It'd be like, if you just suddenly go to the observer, that'll be it and you're, you're enlightened. Or it'll be suddenly like, you do a course lesson it's like there's nothing heavy left to hook you. So mm -hmm. you just go like, um, I, let, I, let the, I let my father lead the way. And then suddenly that's it, it's all finished. So, um, but I suspect there's certain karmas where, where um, they, I gave the example, blasphemy, mm -hmm. where you, you could be trying to like, you're getting glimpses, but you still can't unhook without re-identifying until some things Undone. So uh, Hawkins talked about in I, Reality and Subjectivity the different types of karma. You know, some can be resolved quite easily and quickly with divine mercy, and some can't. You know, so um, so so if with a specific individual, are you saying can they? Will they flip off with the observer and just burn everything off? Well, I guess it would depend, really. You would you'd have to see. I mean, only God could see, or you could muscle test if there's permission to see whether, um, I suspect really, it, yeah, it might come down to that. If, there's an, if there is nothing there that has to be 
uh, if everything can be undone through divine mercy, i.e., by going to the going to the infinite, or just uh, praying for forgiveness, then I suspect it, it, the potential is there to just suddenly flip out and never come back, unless there's something there which would mean you'd be blocked from doing that. So it'd be, it'd be very complicated. It'd depend on the karma that exists with the individual um, and eligibility. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not as simplistic like, mm -hmm. you know, uh, necessarily you do one lesson of A Course in Miracles and then you're enlightened. It could happen, but then you'd have to sort of see, you know, I mean, and you can't see someone's karma. Uh, you probably might get an idea if you did enough muscle testing. <laughs>